Hello, welcome back to Benus Sushi Life Noding. Um, this is gonna be an intermediate uh, tutorial how to turn um, a line like this into something that you can see above, which is actually everything is kind of procedural. Um, while the first one is really really simple, it's made up of a single line, and then how you randomize uh, all the points in between. And then I turn it into a monad, so it's uh, it's a lot easier to understand. And I can use I can reuse this monad in here for multiple lines. So this is almost like a combination of a lot of video tutorials in the past. Um, that's why I say it's intermediate. But we are also using the new uh, the new line nodes, which can connect the points A to point B. So it's a lot simpler now. The whole things including the resample lines all can be grouped into uh, a single node actually and it creates some kind of a uh, lightning effects so even though it's not perfect like I mean in real lightning you, you will have like extra extra things like that um, yeah but for now it's a simple simple line a point a to point B and then we randomize whatever in between so I'll recreate this from scratch so file save as like uh, just line random demo so it's simple name go to compositing spread chalk add-on so we know how to create line and line is simple really really simple and it's just basically connecting from point A to point B that's uh, let me increase the size of the vertices and we can control the steps we can also increase the number of vertices let's have it like 10 and it's growing in X but we can change it to Y or Z for now just keep it in X so the idea here of course we want to be able to just randomize all the points in between point A to point B how do we do that? Um, the simplest way that I could think of that's the, uh, is to use the masking. So there's this thing called index, index to mask. And that's probably quite a strange note when you first use it. But let me try to use uh, this input and plug this into that guy. Let's see what result we get. So we actually have, look at this, we are plugging just a, an index, some kind of index, zero, into the index, and we get true, false, 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 false. False, this is basically a way you can procedurally create mask. And the mask is, of course, either zero or one, true or false, right? So we can supply, for example, the index of, zero and index of minus one this is the last this is the first and this is the last that's way that way we can get true and false uh imagine imagine a snake a snake have a head head and tail so the head and tail is true this is exactly perfect for what we are doing here for the lines if we want to select the first and the last we of course have a first and last node we can actually use this as well but for now i will be using the mask it's slightly more complicated but also a little bit more robust so for our line we can then mask our line based on the length vertices have length the total number of the vertices and we plug this into the mask so now we can always uh, modify the length of the line and we get the, the mass of uh, first and last okay so that's a uh, this is perfect we can now randomize but in order to randomize we we need to do some kind of list masking so with list mask this is kind of like a pair list mask in and list mask out so if we have 
the data which is this vertices and we have this mask on and off goes into that guy we can now use the viewer and check whether we, we have the correct the correct mask so we can see the data if true and data if false seems kind of wrong so we need to increase the level to 2 um, I will increase the vertex size to 10 so we can see the first and the last dots and the things in between okay so we get it right now data if true and data if false and we plug this in and this pair should create some kind of mask for us to use okay cool now we can put this randomizer into into this guy and if I did everything correctly I should be able to get the, the line back so maybe I get I, I did something wrong somewhere here Or maybe I need to supply the mask as well. Let me check. So data if true and data if false. Okay, we are we're gonna be modifying data if false. So if data if false and then we we, we try to move the line, it should move up. Okay, we not we join we just need to supply the the ages ages data there. Okay, it's not connecting correctly. We need to supply the mask. No, we don't need. Please mask join. Okay. The vertices seems to be wrong over here. So where did I make a mistake? Okay, let me go back to my example. I'll copy this. Go back to the demo. Save as. It's good actually that I made a mistake. here it is, it is actually working yeah so I have the first and the last of the line and modifying the in-between so this should be level 2 and the edges should be coming from the origin so everything seems to be correct well where did I do wrong let me check So we have data if true and data if false, level list of two. And I'm using randomizer. Randomize. Or the mask need to come in there. Okay, that's that's why. That's kind of weird, but uh, now it's correct. All right, so we can continue with this. Save as new blend. 
it's the mask and the masking needs to come from this guy not from here okay maybe I can get rid of the grid for now okay so we have now this uh, setup I've I think I've I've made something like this in the past uh, it's pretty useful so we have the first and the last point and everything in between can be randomized easily now we can turn this into a monad I usually save this at at this point because the monad is can be can be in, tricky uh, to use but uh, I just group it control G so we have the beginning and the end and we simply have line so we can reuse this many many times using different lines now we want to make this works for multiple lines okay so this is gonna be interesting I will create random vector I will have like a 20 of diff uh, points and I will connect this random points so we have uh, this random points just 20 random points and then another random points and we, we want to connect between the two we're gonna be using line and uh, we want to use the a b so we want to connect from points a to points b this is uh, gonna be point a and I want to move it and this is another line so we're gonna connect to this guy and as a result we should have uh, this right if the seed the same seed and we I just move the line uh, I just move the random points into the other other place like that so we have two connected points so it it becomes lines but we have multiple lines so this is where it gets interesting this I will make I'll make it kind of procedural so 20 20 points you can have 100 points whatever but it's it's simply connecting the lines and if I randomize the seed we get this line being connected so let's keep it simple just 20 lines for now you can see the the data we have 20 20 data so we want to somehow bring in the monad before we bring in the monad we only have lines we want to sample resample resample the line so in order to resample the line we use the GP this crisp pencil setup we use this all the time uh, actually I use it many many times it's super useful basically if you replace this is kind of a way to resample if instead of using grease pencil we're gonna be using our lines okay so this to make it clear maybe I should kind of group it so control J so this is resample and this is the new output you can see the new output have a lot of points in between that's that's because we are resampling the line and the line is being resampled based on the distance uh, I mean based on the, the the length of the line so no matter what length it's gonna be randomized accordingly so if it's shorter it has less resample if it's long longer it has more points okay now we just need to bring in the monad uh, it's a good idea to rename the monad this is randomize in between except for the first and the last points and the data here is expecting a vector and the output is gonna be the new vertices uh, you can see just now something disappear it's only becoming a single line so where's where is it wrong we need to vectorize it vectorize vectorize is doing the job for us so it's it is now working uh, what else is missing the the seed we need to be able to control the seed from here so the seed I will put this as an input 
So now we can randomize the in between. Of course, the also we want to be able to control the amplitude and things like that. But for now, for now, just leave it. Keep it simple. Okay, just like like this. So what else? What else is missing here? Uh, do we need to split the data? No. Maybe in this case, we just need to, to supply a seed. For the seed, it's gonna be the the count is based on the number of lines, and the this gonna be the output goes into the seed. So is the seed being randomized? Not yet, because we can see the data, twenty data, single seed, twenty twenty. Okay, we need to split the data. List split. Now we have 20, 20, 20 data, twenty lines, twenty seed, and we can randomize the seed. All right, so that's working really, really well for now. For us, it's a now we have the ability to create a lot of lines. We can control the randomizations. And yeah, the only thing maybe with this lightning is that if would be nicer if we can really have the lightning to control some kind of path. That's gonna be maybe for the next tutorial. So this is lightning sushi, alright. And this is still working. Yep, seems to be still working. Oh, okay. Something. Something is there. Something is not quite right. Okay, that's maybe there is some kind of yeah, there's something that's not quite right there because whenever I change the number, it's uh, it's doing something weird. So the seed is based on this count. Oh yeah, it's not updating hundred percent. Uh, interesting. Maybe I forgot something along the way seems to be correct data seed if I change this value to 25 yeah this is working all right if there is a weirdness it could be the the monad or something but this is quite a complex setup it's intermediate that's Okay, that's uh, that's gonna work for us. All right. Um, yeah, I think I'll give you the blend files anyway. For future, in the future, we're gonna be doing something a little bit more complex. And the noise, currently, the noise is just like random. Maybe in the future, it can be a little bit more interesting, like using noise or something. Yes, this. Yeah, that's looking rather nice and interesting. So I can increase this number and play around with the scaling. And we have interesting result. Okay, so that's a how do how do I call it? Factorized lightning setup using Spreadshock add-on in Blender. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.